Keith Lee went to DC for his food tour and well. Me and my family are still in the DMV and there's a few things I want to talk about. So let's talk about it. I know we only posted about three spots from Washington, but we went to about 12 and we made a decision as a family and as a team and also a personal decision to not post most of them. So out of those 12, I probably only got like one or two more that I'm going to post. And the reason for that, a lot of those videos, in my opinion, aren't constructive at all. He, he didn't have the best experience. Who is Keith Lee for the people who have been sleeping and buying rental property under a rock? Keith Lee is a mixed martial artist who has become a food reviewer. That one the people love or the people's champ when they want him to be. And that's... That's where the problem lies. People are so flaky when it comes to Keith Lee. When he gives a review that people love, everyone loves him. He's the people's champ. They call him to different restaurants like Batman. Come here, Keith Lee. Put up the Keith Lee light. Come on, Keith Lee. But the moment he says something that might not be as positive, but is still real, now everything that he's done is questionable. Now, what is the goal of Keith Lee? The goal that Keith Lee usually has is to go to the mom and pop shops that don't get enough attention. He'll tweet, hey, I'm in this city, where should I go? We'll give him my recommendations, he'll go there, he'll give a good review if it's good food, and that could change the trajectory of the business. He'll also gift them thousands of dollars. He's even paid for the food of, of hundreds of people that come after him. He's done great things when it comes to these food reviews. All Keith Lee wants to do is help small businesses and restaurants that may not get the shot that they deserve, right? And, and he's putting people on to restaurants they may have never heard of in their own city. He's better than me. I would like to introduce some of y'all to the headlock if I was Keith Lee, to, to my best headlock, because the way that y'all talk about Keith Lee sometimes is downright disrespectful. Keith Lee went to DC and had not as great of an experience as he would like to have. And he even tried to say it in the most respectful way he could. He said, hey, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna out these businesses because I feel like there's still room to grow, but, but I couldn't eat the food that I got. I went to this restaurant, the shellfish, the other fish, the ketchup package, the hush puppies and the french fries all smelled the same. I whiten with sweet potatoes and mac and cheese. Fortunately, I won't be trying any of it. As always, I ain't trying to be rude, I'm just be honest. The smell of this, insane. This perforated the whole car immediately. So much so that my family went back in and asked if they fried it in the same grease that they did, the shellfish. And come to find out, they do. And it smelled like it. It smells like shellfish. It smells like frozen fish. It smells like fish. It smells almost unedible, in my opinion. I don't want to smoke. Mm -mm. I don't even know what ketchup packets were doing in the grease. I asked the lady, did, did you throw all this in the same grease? And she said, mm-hmm. Same grease. Mm-mm. Don't do that. He went to another restaurant and saw that the cook was also handling the money. Quarters in the palm of the hand and fruit between the thumb and the index finger. Just dropping it all in different sections. The strawberries, the quarters, the nickels, and the dimes. Fruit tasting like loose change. He said, I can't eat that. The entire customer service experience, in my opinion and in my family's opinion, was completely unprofessional. It said on the IG that they opened at one o'clock. The truck didn't open up until 2.15. It took about 45 minutes. When they went back to go get the food, they saw her preparing it. No gloves, no washing hands, grabbing money, grabbing strawberries, grabbing fruity pebbles, and putting it on top of our food. Mm. Uh. He then went to another place and said, hey, do you have the bare necessities, the simple bare necessity, running water? Do you have running water at this place I'm about to eat at? Is your water fit? Does it run? They said, no, we don't have running water. How are you washing your hands? How are you washing your hands? I, you're not. That's, it's a quick answer. You're not washing. I ain't got no point to lie. We just out here eating food, praying, staying with our families, minding our business. And even with the explanations that made sense, the internet was still in the uproar. All of a sudden, he's not a real food reviewer. Look, Keith Lee might not be Gordon Ramsay. He's not going to the top spots where a steak is $6 million, but he is for the reviewers that want to go to the hole in the wall restaurants, right? Keith Lee is for the people who want to go to the spot in the corner and they tweet, is this restaurant good? That's what Keith Lee is for. Keith Lee is for the people who, who download the Yelp app and look at the food at the restaurant before they order it. That's who, that's who Keith Lee is for. He is great for the people that he is for. Now on the flip side, I did see a video that said that Keith Lee might be too famous to be accepting these random recommendations off of Twitter. 
I'm going to say it again and y'all can eat me up about this, but Keith Lee is at the point where he needs a cultural strategist and a researcher. And I'm not trying to make him the next Anthony Bourdain. That man can stay humble and low-key, eating in a sprinter with Ronnie, his family, and security. But with much influence comes responsibility. And he's just at a point where he cannot fully take on this responsibility, even just with him and whatever few handlers he has. He needs somebody who's dedicated to researching a city he's going to visit and going through the DMs, even if he at first just picks out the DMs that he's interested in, in um, reviewing. And the researcher then goes through that list and curates a primary list, a secondary list in case things go wrong. And maybe she's right. Maybe Keith Lee is too big to be accepting restaurant recommendations without vetting them first. Carrie tweets, maybe Keith Lee should stop taking suggestions from social media and do his own research. Y'all be tagging him to go to Aunt Ida's kitchen, who didn't even pass the health inspection. Rocky tweets, I just feel like y'all can keep eating the food in your city whether Keith Lee likes it or not. Why y'all so dramatic? Somebody under it tweets, because they want to be down. No authenticity. I 100% agree and I'll end it on two thoughts. Number one, you can't be mad at somebody for not wanting to eat at a place that has 64 health code violations. They had the quarters and the strawberries in the same hand. Strawberry quarters, cherry nickels. Don't nobody want to eat that. Number two, this is a perfect example of there not being enough explanations in the world to take care of somebody who was committed to misunderstanding you. They, they didn't want to like Keith Lee. And the moment he did something they didn't like, everything that he's ever done went out the window. The businesses that he saved, the people that he's helped, the, the people that he's fed, none of that mattered once he went to a city and did not have the experience that they wanted him to have. You can't satisfy everybody. We also went to a lot of places that were recommended. That's one thing that I really want to make clear in this video is that we went to places that were recommended and we did a lot of research. We've been here for a week and every day since we've been here, we've been in the Sprinter for at least 10 hours a day, just going around trying food, driving an hour to each spot. And since we've been here, we've been blessed enough to sow $30,000 to various restaurants around the DMV. So I don't appreciate it and I don't think it's fair that we get criticized for not doing research or not going to a lot of restaurants in DC or the DMV area. I've noticed how the media has been pushing since we've been here. A lot of media outlets picked up on the fact that I said restaurants out here, in my opinion, tend to lean towards promoting alcohol more than they promote food. That's been headlines more than us being in an actual city and being blessed enough to touch the people that we touch. We ran to a lot of people that was extremely nice. We even went to a comedy show randomly, but that's another reason why I'm keeping most of those videos to protect the restaurant owners because it's not gonna be constructive and it's just gonna be them getting tore down and I don't want that.